calling about the wild Sam shows. It's wild. Hello, Chef Marcus Giuliano here, and I'm your chef on a mission. Today's mission is I'm calling out more restaurants that are serving fake wild salmon, that they're replacing their word, the wild salmon on the menu, and using it for farm. I had somebody who called me from Albany. Somebody sent me a message from Albany, New York. It said, Marcus, check out this restaurant. It says wild salmon. By the way, if you know a restaurant that has wild salmon listed on their menu, wild Atlantic salmon, whatever, message me and I will call them and find out if it's the real deal or not. See, because right now, the time I'm making this, wild salmon's not in season. So I'd have to be buying frozen salmon, which nothing's wrong with that. But a lot of them will say, we only buy fresh salmon, we only buy fresh salmon, and it's fresh wild salmon. Impossible this time of the year, folks. Impossible. So here's a restaurant that I looked up, La Serre. La Serre? La Serre. S-E-R-R-E. La Serre. L-A-S-S-E-R-R-E. La Serre. So on their menu, it blatantly says, wild salmon. It says it on the menu, wild salmon. So I called them, I had to, I called them uh, 11 a.m. in the morning, the other morning, and they said the chef is busy doing a party. Can you call back after lunch at 1.30? I called at one, or 2.30, I called at 2.30, they answered the phone, I said, I'm calling about the wild salmon. She goes, it's wild. I said, okay, um, where's it from? I don't know. And I said, well, I'd like to know, you know where it's from. You know, it's, I don't know, but it's wild, it's wild. So um, they told me it was from the Atlantic Ocean. So that's kind of impossible to be from the Atlantic Ocean. So um, she goes, well, I can't answer your questions. I'm in the office. I don't know. And I thought, well, I called back because the chef would be there. So they go, we'll take your number. So I gave him my phone number. The, uh, the restaurant manager calls me back. The restaurant manager calls me back and goes, um, so he called me back like two, three hours later. He goes, sir, we're calling about, about the salmon. I'm, yeah, I was just wondering if it was wild or not. And he says, well, right now, this particular weekend, because farm salmon is only available 60, uh, wild salmon is only available 60% of the time, this weekend it happens to be farmed. But next week we'll have wild back again. I said, next week you'll have wild back again? Meantime, it's, remember, it's not in season. It's not in season for another two and a half months. And that's when the Copper River opens. If they want to pay big bucks when the Copper River opens, then yeah, they're going to be paying big bucks. And I, I doubt they're not. They're not, they're, not, they're not buying that salmon at 25 bucks a pound when it first hits the market. So it's like, yeah, next week again we'll have wild salmon. I go, when was the last time you had wild salmon? He goes, oh, the last week. I said, you had it last week. You're going to get it next week. But right now, today, if I were to come in there, you're serving farmed salmon and your menu says wild. Basically, that was, that was the gist of this. So I had to explain to him the salmon season and how it works. And he told me they only buy fresh salmon. So I said, well, you need to get with your chef. You need to get with your chef and find out what you're serving because you're not serving far, uh, wild salmon. You haven't served wild salmon if you spent that kind of money back since uh, back since October when the season ended, September, October when the season ended. I said, so you haven't served in a long time. I said, you've been ripping off a lot of people all winter long and you're. if I were to go there on Monday, like you say, or Monday or next week, and you're going to claim that you had wild, you'd be ripping me off too. Because again, the average consumer doesn't know to ask, doesn't know to tell these chefs. Doesn't Basically, I'm finding nine out of 10, more than 90%. I'm doing a lot of phone calls, doing a lot of research. 90%, almost 90% of chefs, nine out of 10 chefs in restaurants, when salmon's out of season, are downright lying to you about serving farmed versus wild. Go to no sa nofarmsalmon.com, that's my website. Go to salmonfarmingkills.com. Look up Alex Morton on British Columbia, the marine biologist there, she's done a lot of groundbreaking work. Farmed salmon, no matter where it comes from, whether it's the cool, clean waters of Tasmania or the wild, open parts of the Faroe Islands or Scotland, which is deemed as the best farmed salmon in the world, all of this farm salmon, all this open pen feedlot net farm salmon is garbage. It's toxic. It's filled with fillers. It's filled with a bunch of crap. No matter what these companies tell you, whether it's True North, Schooner Bay, they're all, they're all, it's all farmed salmon. That's what it is. Whether it says organic salmon or not, it's farmed salmon, folks. Don't let restaurants deceive you, lie to you. You have every single right, and I'm going to help you. 
Uh, hopefully get these restaurants from Stop Lying and uh, be a little bit tr more truthful in their menus. Check out some of my other videos on salmon. I've caught, you know, just recently, Danielle Ballou, restaurant Danielle, one of the best restaurants in New York City. If I didn't ask them eight times, they would have still insisted that they're serving wild farmed wild salmon. It just does, it drives me crazy. Come on, chefs, come on, restaurateurs. Give the consumers, let the consumers know what they're eating. Please, 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 please. Truth in menu. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe, and pass them on.